Have you ever wondered why there's an oil and gas shortage? Well, I've explained this in some of my past videos, but I can tell you this, there's no shortage. There's no shortage in transportation, and that pipeline can be opened within a couple hours by manual valves that are on every pipeline. They're mandatory. They're regulated. Okay? I work in the oil and gas industry. I see thousands of valves every night. Thousands, literally thousands, from one inch valves up to 48 inch valves. This was the government shutting your fuel sources down to control your movements so that they can push the agenda of vaccinations and passport papers. But have you ever noticed that it's going on in mostly red states, near beaches and resort towns? It's to control your movements, people. Wake up. احنا ما نسينا ثارنا ثارنا عند عرب مجهم لو ما ظل غير يوم بعمري لا اخذ حقي من ثم السبع متى ناوي؟ باشر نتجهز والمسير مع باشر لعناك طال عمرك لعناك Much peace and love, salute, salute. Much blessings to all my Islamic brothers and sisters, all my Torah brothers and sisters. Much peace and love, peace and love, 100. You know, uh, with this one, <clears throat> I wanted to make sure I touched down on uh, everything that led up to this point, everything that's leading up to the, the events all over the earth going on right now um, my my potential accident point I want to basically touch on that because I feel like at this point it was something for me to touch down on my spirituality and really go hard and um, not in the mindset that people are think but more so focusing on the times we in and, and the times that's leading into the earth and everything. Now, first off, you know what I'm saying, uh, learning my uh, DNA and everything was a big, big blessing, especially touching down in Burkina Faso, uh, which I still am right now in Burkina Faso. So it was a big blessing to me, you know what I mean? You know, so, uh, but anyway, uh, two weeks ago now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I was going to get some chicken for my family. It's a little spot, you know what I'm saying? I went to uh, went to go get some chicken. It's like an outside spot. Went to go get some chicken. And while I'm waiting on the chicken, I had ordered a bird. You know what I'm saying? So I ordered a bird. 
and uh, this lady was walking down the street, so and she had the peanuts on her head. She was walking with the peanuts, so I, I called over, you know, saying got got some peanuts from. Her. Excuse me, I got some peanuts from. Her. So I'm like, all right, you know, saying it's cool. I can wait and everything. I'll be cool and be chill. So. At this time, like, you know what I'm saying, I cracked open a little bit. Before this, I actually got my daughter, my baby daughter, some Pampers, too. So that was on my motorcycle, you know what I'm saying, I was sitting on my motorcycle. So uh, at this time, I'm like, okay, I'll be waiting now, you know what I'm saying, I'm waiting now. And after that, I had um, I had a pull-up on my YouTube, uh, Hitman Holler, and... Uh, Cassidy, I hope this is his name. Yeah, I think this is his name, whatever they was having the battle. So I'm like, right, I'm gonna watch this when I'm waiting. So after this moment, and I had I had just made a post on my uh on my um on my Instagram too, and I had just texted my wife too. And then I'm watching the battle. And so after this, I was gone. You know what I'm saying? I zipped out. I left my flesh. You know what I'm saying? So when I left my flesh, the first thing that happened was I went to the most high. You know what I'm saying? I went straight up to the most high. I zipped out of here and I went straight up. And when I seen him, he was sitting on his throne. He didn't look at me. He looked straight ahead. You know what I'm saying? A black man, black man, uh, with his full body garment on, fresh, you know what I'm saying? Had the bird, had the big bird, you know, had the big hair and everything, fresh. Had two big lions on the side of him. Had his hands up on his seat, like he had the, a big, a big uh, throne seat. And when I seen this, it kind of, it kind of like freaked me out, not in a bad way, but just like I was just so shocked and in awe, and I knew off the top of my head this was the Most High. I knew that it was y'all. You know what I'm saying? I knew it was the Most High. Soon after uh, I seen this, it was like I shot away, um, and then I shot to. I was already in the spiritual realm, but I shot to another earthly realm, which is this earth, but with the ancestors. So I looked around and I seen all the ancestors there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the grass, the grass was beautiful, green grass, uh, nice beautiful trees, and everybody, it wasn't nothing, it wasn't nothing crazy, it wasn't everybody, it wasn't, um, looking at me crazy or walking around acting crazy and everybody was just chilling walking around talking and it was just it was just cool you know what i'm saying it wasn't no big deal no nothing everybody just walking around just chilling but nobody gave me attention but one person i looked to my right and it was my grandmother my grandmother was there now we got to talking, and she, I could just remember when I seen her, and, and I looked over and I saw her, she looked at me. And mind you, in, in real life, uh, rest in peace to my grandmother, but I always been taller than her. And in, and when I seen her, out of, the, out of my body flesh, you know, so I was still taller than her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So when I seen that she was smiling, you know what I'm saying? She was smiling or whatever. She was happy to see me. And I was, uh, she was asking me questions about the family. And I let her know everybody in the family, they doing good. They doing real good, you know what I'm saying? Not like they just doing it exceptional, but everybody, they, they doing all right. They doing good, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, then we got to talking about the things to come. Now I don't remember that. I don't remember talking. I don't remember uh, everything we talked about uh, that's about to get ready to happen, and uh, all the ancestors and everything that's about to get ready to come, and not too long, and all of that. 
and the times we in. But that's what we talked about. We talked about these upcoming days and the things that's about to happen on the earth and um and the end times and how things are about to play out. And she knew these things that she was telling me. You know what I'm saying? And so after that, I zipped back down here and I woke up. But I was in a hospital bed. And so I woke up and I'm looking around the room. Like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what the hell is going on? And I was in a hospital bed. And so at this point, I didn't even know I was in an accident. I didn't know how I got to that point. Uh, my wife ended up telling me some things. I just keep it at that. And I was like, what? I talked to you about what? And she was like, yeah, we talked about this or whatever like that. Then I had learned the other couple things, not necessarily from her, but to somebody else. And I was like, what? But at that time, I wasn't in my flesh. But my flesh was alive. But I wasn't in my flesh. See what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna go her or there to how these things may have taken place. But I wanna go to the place of what happened when I was out of my flesh. And I went to the ancestors and I went to the most high, which I believe in with my whole heart. You know what I'm saying? But uh, immediately the first thing after I came back and everything and I realized I was in the hospital, I was trying to catch up and uh, I was a little sore and stuff, getting my medicine and stuff, just trying to catch up. Uh, I immediately started crying because I forgot how my grandmother passed away and how long she had been gone. And mind you, she had uh, passed away before I even got her. Like, uh, she had passed away like maybe a month before I made my way to Kena Faso and everything. And so uh, then I remember, like, oh, okay, man, I forgot about that. But that's how real this, that's how real it was when I went and seen her. You know what I'm saying? So uh, now, after these things, I start to see uh, what happened in in Jerusalem with the with the uh, with the bombing. Uh, I start to see the things that's going on in America right now with the gasoline the COVID vaccine stuff that's going on right now. And also, uh, not uh, a couple days ago, I went outside just because I love when, how I feel when it's getting ready to rain. I just love the feeling. But I seen the lightning come. And that's one thing. The lightning, that's, that's one thing. But then I seen some uh, look like portals was hit. Like every time I seen the lightning, the lightning is one thing. That's a whole different thing, but then after I seen the lightning, then you know, like I seen portal lights, like, I'm looking like, what the hell? So I went out there and sat down, I'm like, man, let me record this. It's crazy, I made a video of that. You know what I'm saying? So right now, uh, I'm just in a different place mentally. You know, it's like after coming back, it put me in a different place spiritually. Uh, I always been I always been like a Torah brother believing in the most high, believing in the ancestors. You know, that type of brother. But now it's like I just done turned up a level spiritually for some reason. You know what I'm saying? I'm real tight spiritually. I'm feeling real good. I'm feeling real thankful. You know, uh and I'm really looking at the times. So with that being said, man, I just wanted to put that information out there. Put a little information in the things that I've been seeing. And uh, I just want to wish everybody the best. Let y'all know I'm doing real good and I'm doing real good. Uh, everything feeling better. My shoulder was killing me at first. It was getting a, getting a lot stronger. You know what I mean? I had got my ear stitched. That's doing good. I had cut my ear and everything. It was crazy, man. Crazy time. But, uh leaving the flesh and going up and seeing the most high it was like that's something that I just can't I can't get past this this was real this was not this is not a game
I went and seen the ancestors. I went and saw the most high. It's not a lie. It's not a game. So I wanted to talk about that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm real thankful. Glory to the most high. Real, real thankful for just being able to just lay eyes on him. He didn't even look at me. He was just doing his thing. He was just sitting there looking straight ahead. I saw him. I'm like, y'all. I, I was like, oh my. This is the most high. And then the next thing was I had to go see the ancestors. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, man. Uh, I want to thank everybody for the support. Uh, I also want to say I pray everybody be in a, the best position. Uh, I pray spiritually everybody get to grow and um, and get past bad times. But just grow spiritually and do good, man. And I'm going to just keep growing. Most high willing and keep doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? While I'm here, take care of my family also. Um, so, album about to get ready to drop. You know, Back from Slavery is about to get ready to drop. Uh, I pray everybody get a chance to check it out. Soon I will be trying to work on getting a video shot. Everything been going on, so I hadn't got a chance to do that yet. After all these things is done with this work and stuff like that, I'm going to be on a single move. So I'm going to be just going here and there. Most high willing, just trying to drop singles. So that's what I'm going to be on. Uh, try to get back in the groove of going live and things like that too. But I just really wanted to make this video. Really wanted to throw some explanation in there and everything that happened. So salute to everybody out there doing their thing. And everybody who support me. Much peace and love. Much peace and love. 100. It's not no game. I really went through some things and I just wanted to put it out there. So salute to everybody who wished me the best. And I'm going to just keep doing my thing, man. So glory to the most high. Much peace and love. Shout out to Burkina Faso. Salute. C'est la vie. I'm too real. I'm ten toes. Better red with my eyes closed. I'm focused though she been chose. Tell me what.